to be able to not have to think, oh gosh, okay, what am I going to be feeding everybody for breakfast and for lunch and all of that good stuff. Now, for... Hey guys, so it is Monday, today is Monday, yes, the 31st, and um, we just ate dinner, and now I am doing a little bit of planning, I was actually doing a little bit of meal planning, uh, let me show you. So I've got my meal plan, the breakfast, and the lunch, and then I'll put in the snack on what I'll serve the children um, on each day. So that actually helps me to be able to not have to think, oh gosh, okay, what am I going to be feeding everybody for breakfast and for lunch and all of that good stuff. Now, for those that are coming for my homeschool pod, um, the parents know that they are required to provide their child lunch, and I only do that. How just do you don't. Spell obstetrician. Just, obstetrician. Use Google. I don't, just put a o, just put O B slash G Y N. Yeah. Um, those parents know that they are to pack their child's lunch, uh, just to help kind of keep down on all those food allergies and everything like that. But I do provide the breakfast which is like a light breakfast, nothing over the top, and a snack. And the snack will particularly consist of some, uh, some kind of fruit or something like that. So yeah, so I was getting that all ready, jazzed up, so I can put it on my refrigerator. I've got my laminator going. Let me show you right quick. Ooh. So I got my laminator going, it is ready. I'm about to cut some of these sides off y'all see that white space down there i'm gonna cut some of that white space off and then put it in my laminator over here we have jazz filling out her uh, first day of seventh grade homeschool my teacher is you supposed to say mom <laughs> anywho grace show your face anyways um so yeah so she's filling this out and then i'm going to take her picture i'm actually going to do this for all the children i'll have um probably i'll work on some of it tomorrow with the other kids so yeah yeah you're my guinea pig you're my guinea pig hush girl so yeah so she's filling this out and then we're going to take her picture and i'm going to show y'all her picture after i'm gonna find a beautiful scenery outside and we're gonna take this beautiful picture. And yeah, just something to have. I'm not about to do that. Grace, they know what you look like, child. What you talking about? Oh my God. Y'all see how crazy this generation is. Anyways, they all be wanting to be on all social media but then don't wanna show their face. Honey, you already showed your face. Your mother has already put you, put you out there. Yeah, yeah. For everybody to see. I mean, it doesn't even matter anymore. Why you say that? Because you already showed a whole bunch of pictures. You know I did. Look. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going to. I'm gonna cut. Uh, I have a. What's this called? What is this called? I'm drawing a blank right now. Anyways, it makes sure I have perfect, perfect cuts and all that using my blade. I had this in my classroom, so brought it on home so I can use it here at my homeschool pod. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we are going to, uh -oh. we are going to get this all fancied up. And then I'm going to show you a picture after I am done what it looks like. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so in addition to getting the weekly menu ready for the breakfast and the lunch. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, lunch for my kids, breakfast for 
all of the kids plus the snack. I was also working on my discipleship um, lesson and I was I printed out the recommended lesson plan guys. I think I'm gonna I use the uh, let me backtrack for the curriculum I use what's called little pilgrims theology um, and I'm going to start off with a catechism so those are like theological questions and answers actually this this because I was previewing it as well this series is so kid friendly like you can start at age three and thank you guys just set it over here uh, you can start at age three and on up but anyways it's different questions that children should be able to answer about why they believe what they believe right so um, the first lesson that we're going to go over is the well it's actually the first part so part one is talking about God's Word and the first question that is going to be posed to them is who is the first and greatest being so that's the question that is being asked and after we walk through the lesson and I show them the video um, they have their scripture verse that they're going to be able to memorize They're, they will be able to tell you who is the first and the greatest being uh, the scripture verse we're going to be coming from is Isaiah 44 and 6 where it says, thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Y'all hear all that noise. And there is no God beside me. Again, that's Isaiah chapter 44, verse six. So the question that they're going to be asked, and let's say if anybody was to ask them, who is the first and greatest being? My babies will be able to say, it is God Almighty because it says I am the first and I am the last and there is no God beside me that is Isaiah chapter 44 verse 6 so for my my um, smaller ones they're going to be coloring the scripture verse can you see that they're gonna be coloring the scripture verse Langston is going to be tracing to help him with his handwriting he's gonna be tracing the memory verse and then Jasmine has discussion questions that she's going to have to um, answer and so yeah so I love that this particular curriculum Little Pilgrim Theology it has different things um, for different levels for the children so you know I, I got a seventh grader you know color in the scripture verse I mean although she may want to color but I want her to be thinking whereas the smaller ones i can have them coloring getting the word and they're doing something that is developmentally appropriate for them at their age but also getting the word in them as well and then for langston he's like right there he's right at not he's still a child yes but he's kind of growing out of the child stage and so for that i need him to start being able to memorize um scripture verses not just color but be able to write these scriptures out because the way that you can memorize scriptures is you just write them out so that's what he's going to be working on so this particular lesson is going to take us actually all week based on my lesson plan guide so i'm really excited i also have a quiz that they're going to take uh in addition to everything else that I just showed you but yeah so we're gonna start off with uh, catechism um, and that's theological questions and answers and our first question is who is the first and greatest being and then this we are in part one talking about God's Word so yeah just a little preview of our discipleship and all of that so I'm planning that I have my homeschool planner. I thought it would have been, been delivered by now, but it's supposed to be coming today. That way I can kind of write down everybody's lessons for this week. It's going to be a light week, though, since we're starting Wednesday. So we got, what, three days? So I told Jazz we won't worry about science and social studies, the science and history this week, but we'll pick it up next week. Same with LJ. We won't worry about science and history this week. But we are going slowly to get back into the swing of things. We're going to do our Bible, ELA, some math. Um, I think I assigned them their electives too. Yeah. And then Friday, 
we'll go to the pool we'll enjoy the pool and yeah we'll just have a great great first three days of homeschool so i'm excited follow me on this journey y'all i'm probably gonna start vlogging what y'all think i'm probably gonna start vlogging i don't know about every day i may do every day not sure yet but i'm gonna track this journey i want to be able to kind of look back and see um the journey that i took from coming out of the public education system bringing my children out of that and us walking on this journey with the lord as i homeschool and disciple my children and other children um parent or children of parents who want their children to be discipled and homeschooled as well so come along for the journey with me guys all right well i will talk to y'all later it's 7 14 and i'm a little tired so i'll talk to y'all in another video all right bye